Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. IMF Mission Chief to Jamaica, Dr. Uma Ramakrishnan, says she does not expect any fallout when Dalco may suffer with Russian sanctions to have a big impact on the economy. Russia-based UC Rosal, which owns Windalco, is facing sanctions from the United States and there are fears the operations of the local plant will be affected. However, the impact on the economy is expected to be limited. ...of the three and therefore the, uh, in terms of impact on production, it should not have a big impact if Alpart continues to progress and the mining sector from Alpart continues to produce in the trajectory that it is expected to produce. She, however, says with over 600 people working at the plant, the government will have to make a decision on the way forward. The IMF is ready to help guide that process. Are there any discussions they, the government uh, would like to have with us? We are open to any discussions that would need to be done. Um, but at the end of the day, the government has to decide the direction to take uh, to move forward. The price of oil fell on Monday amid fading worries of potential retaliation from Russia following weekend airstrikes on Syria. Oil for delivery in May fell $1.17 to settle at $66.22 a barrel. It was down 1.7% after rising almost 9% last week. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $125.12. The Canadian dollar costs $99.68. The pound sterling is going for $177.56, while the euro costs $154.93. The JSE index lost 695 points today, while the junior market index lost 49. Stocks posting gains included Berger Paints, Derrimon Trading, Jetcon, Scotia Group, and VM Investments. Now on the losing end were 1834 Investments, Caribbean Cream, Consolidated Bakeries, General Accident, Jamaica Producers, KLE Group, Lasker Distributors, NCB Financial Group, Sagicor Group, and Wisinko Group. And that wraps up the business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening. <laughs>